Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Squid King. Hello. And we're going to do another unboxing and review of an arcade one-up machine. Now, if you guys checked out our, our previous video, we did the final fight machine. This one's actually got 1944 on it. Uh, but now we're going to do Mortal Kombat. Which I'm excited for. I am super excited about Mortal Kombat. So, man, I pumped a lot of quarters into Mortal Kombat, especially two. So, we're going to unbox and build and review the Mortal Kombat 2 machine from Arcade 1-Up. This has has all three Mortal Kombat games on it. has 1, 2, and Ultimate 3, which is the best one because it had Scorpion in it. So stick around. All right, it's Neon and Squid King. We're going to do some gameplay. And then after this, we're going to show you how we put this thing together, and then we'll show you a little bit more gameplay. So uh, this does have all three games, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. In case you couldn't read. In case you couldn't read. Uh, which one are we going to play? Um, no idea. I'll oh. let you decide. I'm going to say... So I've never played any of them. Okay, 2 ever. is my favorite. And the sound's actually pretty good. It has a mono speaker like the Final Fight yep. machine. You can turn it up or down. You can turn it up or... Ah, it's a little loud. Yeah, it's got it's got uh, uh, loud and like really loud. Now the newer arcade one-up machines, I know like Ninja Turtles actually has volume. You yeah, can... it has an actual like volume range, not just nothing. Okay. Kind of loud, extremely loud. I'll let you beat me up because I can't really hold the camera. Anymore. I haven't played Mortal Kombat 2 in like 10 years. <laughs> I haven't played it in forever. Oh wait, I'm choosing. Like literally like forever. Uh, okay. I, guess. I am not going to be able to play it. I am not going to be able to play it one handed here. But. Yeah, so you're a toy. But no, I mean, this is, this is the real deal. This is... Uh, Knock me in the ring. Now that was supposed to be Jean Claude Van Damme. If I remember. But no, the controls are, I mean, it's solid. It's, it feels like like the real deal. I can't do those because I have no idea how. Yeah, that's a, the problem with Mortal Kombat is it's like really ridiculously hard to play compared to Street Fighter, like the moves, it's like down, down, up, down, up, down, high kick, block, punch, back, you know. So we got Ultimate 3. Now, Ultimate 3 was weird because it was like, it was a, like a patch for the game because <laughs> they didn't have all the characters in it when they released Mortal Kombat 3 because they wanted to get some of that sweet, sweet arcade money. Uh, so they had to patch it a couple months later with Ultimate. But it's basically the same game. Just got some new levels, new characters. <laughs> Scorpion. I'm gonna get my butt kicked on this. Doesn't matter. Really. Again, one-handed. I just wanted to show. I mean, this is this is the real deal. I mean, it's the emulation's fantastic. It uh, feels right. Everything feels right. The buttons feel right. If you want, I can try to play, but I promise you, I will not be able. I just let the AI kill me. Now this, of course, had the infamous run button. I'm one-handed. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, I knew that was going to happen. Anyway, uh, what do you think of this machine? There you go. I'll play. I'll suck. Back, back, low punch. Back, back, low punch. What? Back, back, low punch. Go back, back. There you go. Then upper cover. I can't. I don't play this game. <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying. I'm just pushing buttons and praying it works. <laughs> yeah. okay. oh, we didn't even do a fatality. Anyway, uh, good machine. I mean, seriously, for the price... This is about as good as it gets, sort of buying a real arcade machine. All right, guys, just to show you what's inside the box, if you've never opened one of these arcade one-up machines, um, <laughs> it's like Ikea furniture. 
it's everything is all compact uh, it's all packed in here believe it or not all fits and i know when we did the final fight machine i was like what is this lots of little dowels remember these Parts. So, uh, I do like the uh, controllers on this. Alright, so they really pack the stuff in there. This should look very familiar if you grew up in the 90s. Raiden, some of the coolest, coolest cabinet art, I think. But we're going to unpack these little boxes. Now, this should be the, uh, the monitor and the, uh, I guess it would be the the motherboard, it's not really a motherboard, it's just kind of a, it's not really a motherboard. <laughs> the faux motherboard. This is probably controllers. We're gonna open this up and see. It's also got a riser. This one has a riser with it. And it's a custom riser. So it's not like this one over here. If you look, it's just your kind of basic arcade one-up riser. Yeah, this is the like kind of the first generation machines, and now a lot of the newer ones have. If you go here on this side, hang on. There we go. There we go. Which looks way cooler. That is way cooler. I know the Marvel one has a custom riser too. All right, so we got the riser unboxed, and uh, we'll put this put this together here. And then over here we've got the controller. Little oh, buttons. Those buttons. Rip, rip that plastic off. We're gonna slice it. Squeaking slicing. This is pretty solid. Uh, these always were. I think this has a this has a plastic cover on it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you don't rip the uh, decal off. But um, it is a replica of the Mortal Kombat 2 machine that you probably saw around 1992, 1993 ish. I didn't because I wasn't born yet. Yeah. Well, I saw these things all over the place because I'm old. And we're unboxing more stuff. Breaking more stuff. All right, guys, we're starting to put this together. It's kind of like Ikea furniture, right? So <laughs> lots of little wood dowels, lots of uh, screws. All right, guys, we have something that kind of sort of resembles an arcade machine. Uh, again, a lot, of, a lot of pegs, a lot of screws. Now we got to put the monitor in. Just right here? Yeah, they're like, okay, so we're gonna get the monitor ready. Uh, this is actually the the game consoles in here, I guess. This is it, it's not very big, obviously, because these games are pretty old. Tempting to get the side on. This is, this is one of the trickier parts, is trying to get the single one up right. But you can see we have the monitor in now. And yeah, make sure you don't bury this, this ribbon, because you're gonna need that to put your joysticks on. All right, guys, we have something that actually looks like a, like an arcade machine. If you can't tell, we're professionals. <laughs> we do this for a living. There we go. There we go. This, this was a little harder than the final fight one. I don't know why. It just seemed like stuff wasn't lining up quite right. We had a couple issues where holes seemed to be drilled like too far up or too far yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah, especially with, um, um, but the signage up here just seemed like it was, it didn't want to line up right. Uh, it is staying though. It's stable. Yeah. If you, it's stable, it's not going to Oh yeah, out. it's really, I mean, once you get these together, they're really solid. It's just, you wouldn't expect them to be because it looks like they're made out of like plywood, but they're actually really surprisingly strong. Yeah, it's like Ikea furniture, you know? I mean, once you put, once you put a couple together though, it's, it, they, they go together they pretty made, made a oopsie doopsie. All right, guys, this is what the Mortal Kombat 2 arcade one-up machine looks like now that it's been completely assembled. Now I'm gonna move this into the corner of our office and you can see Geeky actually built the riser for me. I was out and she put the riser together. So thank you, Geeky, she's very handy like that. So it's a pretty solid machine. Um, you know, they're, they're always solid. But controllers, the buttons, everything feels right. And, um, you know, other than a couple of snags putting it together, uh, we had some of the holes didn't seem like they were drilled right. But other than that, it's it's a good unit. And I like the fact that they, you know, a lot of the newer machines include the, the bases because I, I can't imagine having one of these machines without a riser. I really can't. But, uh, okay, so we're gonna wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, rants. Check out Clownfish TV Gaming. 
Uh, we, we oh God, we do have a gaming channel. We're gonna get off the ground here next year, so definitely check that out. We'll put a link to subscribe, and um, yeah, check this machine out. If you're a Mortal Kombat fan, definitely worth it. I think.